ECG changes in hypercalcemia. ECG changes that can occur during hypercalcemia are poorly correlated with exact serum levels, which is why I won't be giving you numbers. However, we do know that as serum calcium rises, the QT interval shortens. Now, the QT interval can shorten as a whole, but it can also shorten from the origin of the T wave or the apex of the T wave. This variability results in T wave changes that resembles ST elevation, Osborne waves, and even T wave inversion or biphasic T waves. In extreme cases, P waves disappear and the QRS segment widens as well. Watch out for these changes and keep your patient on the monitor if you see them. The ECG changes in hypocalcemia. ECG changes in hypocalcemia are few and easy. The QT interval prolongs primarily by the elongation of the ST segment. Also, A-specific T wave changes occur, most commonly T wave inversion. Note that these ECG changes correlate poorly with serum levels, but remember, though uncommon, the longer the QT interval, the greater risk of cardiac dysrhythmias. So keep your patient on the monitor while supplementing calcium if you see these changes.